All right, uh, back in 2010 when I planted my first garden, I, in the first two years of growing, counted a total of six bees in the garden. What for the whole year? For two years. For the whole two years. Uh, people didn't realize that besides all the property and life that was lost here, so was all of nature. Some of the first responders said it was very eerie to come in here three days after Katrina and not even hear a bird. Um, so in the process of trying to get better pollination in my gardens, I ended up becoming a beekeeper. Uh, started with one hive and I actually ended up evacuating that hive during Hurricane Isaac with me up to Indiana in 2012 because at that point in time I knew I couldn't do without the bees. Um, many people don't realize that without bees we lose about two-thirds of our produce department at the grocery store. Uh, we don't have honey. Um, there's some things specifically that only honeybees will pollinate. Cucumbers, honeybees are the only thing that pollinate cucumbers. Many other varieties um, most of your fresh produce, you got to have bees or other pollinators. All together right now, we've grown up to where we have 30 hives. At the end of this month, we'll be adding an additional 30 hives to that. And we've effectively repopulated the bees in this part of the city in the Lower Ninth Ward to where I'm now going out and doing bee removals. Oh, cool. And I'm not saying I'm the only one repopulating, but just by natural regrowth, they're starting to come back. And I think a lot of the reason they're doing better here than a lot of the other places around the country is we don't have the heavy agricultural chemical use. Um, we also have thousands of overgrown lots that grow lots of natural clover and everything and things like that that the bees can feed off of. Cool. And so and so here, how does it work here? So so you you, you come maintain them or are you having help from the community I've got, maintaining your hives here? I've got one or two folks that want to come in and learn about bees. We did a recent um, workshop with the Growing Green store. And we had 23 people that showed up. Which is up in the Lower Ninth. It's actually over in the St. Rock area. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. They sell recycled house products. Okay. Um, but they do workshops, and I taught one of them on beekeeping, and we had 23 people here for that. Cool. So there's definitely a great interest in helping to preserve the bees, as well as to keep bees and help them repopulate. And now that you guys have enough hives, you're starting to sell honey as a as a revenue generator for Capstone, right? Right. Um, took me about a year or two to realize that people really like local raw honey, and then I started looking into all the health benefits of it and what other people told me. And so I thought, well, it just seems kind of an organic way for us to accomplish many things. Right now, our revenue from honey sales is about 15 to 20 percent of our annual budget and I'm hoping to get it to where it becomes about at least half of it because I don't like fundraising and I don't like soliciting donations. Right, I'd right. much rather sell you a jar of honey even though it involves some labor <laughs> and I mean it's good for us, it's good for the bees, it's good for the food economy uh, it's just a win-win-win situation all the way around. Cool. So bees in the lower ninth. They're back in the lower ninth. Thanks, Dave. That's great. Congratulations on your bee success. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>